Okay, welcome back. So I'm going to explain how to find the parallel line to a given equation, or sometimes I'll ask you to find the equation parallel to a given line. So first of all, when two lines are parallel, so let's say you have a line 1 here, and it's parallel to line 2, then you would write line 1 is parallel to line 2. So what that means is that the slope, that means slope 1 of this line here, so this slope is equal to the slope of this line. So this basically means the slope of line 1 is equal to the slope of line 2. So for example, let's say you had y equals 4x plus 8, and you had another, and this is line 1, and let's say you had a second line. Let's say you had y equals 4x plus 9. Well, in this case here, both lines are not equal, but they do have the same slope. Okay, so again, an example would be negative 3 halves x minus 1, y equals negative 3 halves x minus 7. Okay, they both have the same slope. So as long as these slopes, m1, is equal to m2, then we say that the lines are parallel to each other. Okay? So... For the most part, on an exam or in your homework, they'll probably give you a point and an equation. And that's usually what's going to end up happening. So let's say, for instance, we got a point, negative 4, 7, and an equation, 6x minus 7y is equal to 30. I want you to make a small table. And we're going to split it in half. And here, we're going to put line 1, and here, line 2. Then, we're going to write m1 for the slope of line 1, and m2 for the slope of line 2. Our job is to find this one, so that way we can put it right here. Okay. I'm basically making a list of things that we need for each side. So on this side, you need... In order to get the slope, you need to have a line. So we have a line here, but what we need to do is isolate the y. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write line 2, and over here I'm going to write line 1. Okay? So when you're given this kind of problem, set this up for yourself like this. Line 1, line 2, make a t-table here, and then write m2, l2 for line 2, and m1, l1 for line 1. Well, line 2 is this, 6x minus 7y is equal to 30. And line 1 has to be constructed, so we have to form line 1, and we'll use the point-slope formula to do that. You should memorize this formula. It's very important that you memorize this formula. Okay, so what's going to happen is this. After we isolate the y for here, we're going to get our slope. Then we plug the slope into this equation here. We're going to write it here, plug it into the equation, and use this point in this equation as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and label this x1, y1. Okay, so to kind of reiterate what's going on, let me explain this real quick. You're given a point, and you're given a line. You make a table call one side line 1, call the other side line 2. And on side 1, you write m1 equal, which you're going to fill in, and then you're going to write l1 and set up the point-slope formula so that way you can construct your equation. On the other side, you write the same thing, m2 is equal to, and you're going to fill that in, and you write l2, and then you copy the equation down. Okay, so what you want to do is isolate the y. So first we'll move the 6x to the other side by subtracting it. So we get negative 7y is equal to, and write the x term first, negative 6x plus 30. Then you divide by negative 7, and that cancels with this, and you're left with the y, and these cancel positively. And you're left with y is equal to positive six-sevenths x minus 
30 over 7. So now that you got the equation, now you look at the coefficient of x and you write that down here. And then what you're going to do is copy it over to the other side. So now what you want to do is plug in the slope and the point in your point slope formula. And to do that, we're going to go ahead and indicate which variables are going to be replaced with numbers. So now, bring down my y, bring down my minus sign, and y1 is going to be 7. Equal to, my slope is going to be 6 sevenths, so write 6 sevenths, times the quantity, bring down my x, bring down my minus sign, and x1 is going to be negative 4. Alright, so now simplify. y minus 7 is equal to, distribute the 6 sevenths into here. Now, these over here will become positive, okay? Negative times a negative is positive. So you'll get 6 sevenths x plus 6 times 4 is 24 over 7. So now what we're going to do is add 7 to both sides. So let me write this over a little bit here. y is equal to 6 sevenths x plus 24 over 7. Since we're adding 7 on one side, we're going to add 7 on the other. Now, what we want to do is we want to combine 24 sevenths with the 7. But to do that, we need to convert the 7 to a fraction that has a denominator of 7, so that way it's easier to add it to 24 sevenths. So what we can do is multiply this 7 times 7 over 7. Okay, so 7 times 7 will be 49. And what you're going to do is add 24 and 49. And you're going to get 73. So y is equal to 6 sevenths x plus 73 sevenths. And that is your final answer. So I hope you got the understanding of what to do and and you should follow this structure here. It helps to kind of organize everything you are going to need in order to construct a parallel line. So follow the example I did here and you should have no problem doing your homework or answering a test question. So I hope this helped and good luck with your tests and homework in the future and thanks for watching.